Hi everyone, I'm Tristan and welcome to today's TOEIC lesson. Believe it or not, we are going to look at a very difficult question and give you some tips to answer it easily. So let's start with the question. Here it is. Okay, so fortunately or unfortunately, this is all about grammar and collocations. So let's break this question or let's break this statement into simpler terms. There were advancements in technology. Because of this, we can produce items at a fast speed. A decade ago, people had said that this speed was impossible. It is not impossible now. So we can now produce items, products at a speed that was blank impossible a decade ago. We have a reduced adjective clause here. Make sure to check the link if you are not comfortable with reduced adjective clauses. All right, so we got the idea. It was blank impossible a decade ago. So how do we get this answer? Let's play that elimination game. What should we eliminate first? Correct, the answer is A, why? When we are using refer to say talking about, we use refer to something as name. So we're saying someone calls it this name. So if people call me T-Crank, my friends refer to me as T-Crank. I am referred to as T-Crank. Do you notice how we have to and as here? The as, of course, is a preposition and the to is also a preposition. They do not disappear. So if we look at the question and we had referred, we would have to see referred to as impossible because people refer to the speed as impossible. So a speed that was referred to as. We don't have to, we don't have as, we don't have an answer. All right, so the next part, let's eliminate D. Regard is an interesting word. You might know this word in the prepositional phrase, which is in regard to, with regard to, regarding. This means when looking at, when talking about. For example, Canada is a relatively tall, Canada is a relatively cold country. With regard to Thailand, it is seen as a warm country. Another example, McDonald's is viewed as unhealthy by most people. Regarding Subway, the opinions vary more. So here we can see regarding means when talking about. Another way we can use regard is when we use it as a noun. And this was when you hold someone in high regard. This means you respect them. So an example could be, to the surprise of many, a high proportion of people in Russia still hold Stalin in high regard. So they respect him. Or Eminem is generally held in high regard in the hip hop community. But this is not how we're using regard here. Here, we are using regard to mean to view or think about something in a certain way. For example, if many th people think that marriage is necessary, you could say many people regard marriage as a necessity, so as a noun. Or you could say many people regard marriage as necessary in life. Now, I don't, I don't, but many people do. If we're talking about professional wrestling, maybe your favorite sport, maybe not. But many people regard Kenny Omega as the best professional wrestler in the world. Also, many people regard professional wrestling as silly, but I don't. So we can see the form. If you say, I think something is, you could say, I regard something as noun or as adjective. But here, we do not have an as. So to get this answer correct, it would have to be regarded as impossible because people regard the speed as impossible, the speed that was regarded as impossible. So we don't have as. 
So what does this leave us with? We have two answers left, B or C. Now they've never liked each other, I know that. But what can we eliminate next? Well, we can eliminate B because C is used in the same way as regard. It can mean I think, I view something as. For example, I think he's a nice guy. I see him as a nice guy. I think this question is unfair. I see this question as unfair. So it is a question that is seen as unfair. So when we give our opinion about something using C, the form is I see it as adjective, noun, gerund. So for this answer, that people saw as is possible would be correct if it said that was seen as impossible. So what is our last option? Just labeled. Now you can say people label it adjective or noun and it just means call it. For example, the box is labeled dishes. People labeled the box dishes. The idea was labeled crazy. People labeled the idea crazy. When you use label, you do not need a preposition. You don't have to have one. So I could say many people labeled the ride dangerous. You can also say many people call the ride dangerous. If you want, you can use as after label, but you don't need it. All right, so the answer is label. We got the answer. It is C. So it was produced at a speed that was labeled impossible. That was called impossible. A very tough lesson, very challenging, some collocations. You might see this lesson as difficult. You might refer to this lesson as difficult. You might regard this lesson as difficult or you might label it difficult. Have a great day. Bye.